The iconic Karate Kid is once again set to return. Sony recently announced that a new movie from the franchise is set to be released in 2024, but little is known about the story of this film and what this would be about. In this video, we'll look at some potential Karate Kid storylines that we might see in the upcoming movie. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. First, the film wouldn't be related to the Netflix series Cobra Kai. We all know about Cobra Kai and that the series is part of the franchise. This was why Sony announced the film. Fans speculated that the film would be related to the series. But the Cobra Kai co-creator John Hurwitz confirmed that the series has nothing to do with the Netflix series. In his tweet, the creator said that he and the team would love to make Karate Kid and Cobra Kai movies and might do so someday, but for now the project isn't from them, nor is it focused on the Cobra Kai cast. He also confirmed he doesn't know much about the new project, but wishes it goes well. So if it isn't related to the Netflix series and Hurwitz, Schlossberg, or Hayden aren't involved, then what's to come? Cobra Kai was first produced for YouTube TV, however, However, later it moved to Netflix and is one of the most popular projects of the Karate Kid franchise. Being so popular is the reason why it's pretty surprising for us to know that the film has nothing to do with any of the cast members in the show. Now we know that we're not getting the Cobra Kai sequel in the form of a film, so let's have a look at some other potential storylines. Following up, the most likely story we might get is a Mr. Miyagi origin story. Mr. Miyagi is one of the most important characters in the whole franchise, and the most likely storyline we might get in the upcoming film is his origin story. This means that we might get to see his time in the war and other life experiences, including losing his wife and child. It won't be wrong to say that if that happens, it will be a great addition to the Karate Kid universe. If this is the story they decide to take up for the film, they won't even have to interfere in any of the already running franchise projects. Instead, it would help them expand the franchise and add weight and value to Mr. Miyagi's legacy. While we're on the topic, it's also important to note that focusing on Miyagi-Do's legacy doesn't necessarily mean that we'll get a film that concentrates heavily on Hilary Swank's character Julie Pierce. Pierce might return if the film has to focus on Mr. Miyagi, but we have our doubts about it. Next up, it could also focus on Chosen. Even though Hurwitz has confirmed that the show has nothing to do with the series, it's still possible for the franchise to develop a character-focused sequel, meaning the cast or story of the show wouldn't be involved in the film, but some characters will be. Some fans speculate that this 2024 film might be a spin-off featuring one or more characters from Cobra Kai. Our wild guess is that this chosen one would be chosen. You might end up getting a standalone film. Just like Mr. Miyagi's origin story, this story also has the potential to take the fans back in time where the big bad guy's story began. The time when he tried to kill Daniel LaRusso, and then his development in the film The Karate Kid Part 2 and turning into a very lovable and brave Chosen, whom we know from Cobra Kai. After all, he's one of the characters Karate Kid fans have loved for years, and if they give him the limelight he deserves, it's pretty clear that many fans would be interested in watching a movie like that. Moving on, another possibility is that it's a Cobra Kai movie. Some fans believe John Hurwitz is simply messing with the fans and the film is, in fact, a Cobra Kai movie. The creator might be nearly throwing the fans off the upcoming big screen project. Well, there's no proof that this might be true, but we can still hope for the best. It's also a logical explanation because we already know that the Cobra Kai producing team was already in the process of making a sequel but never confirmed anything, and this moment is the perfect time for them to come up with a movie like that. After all, the Eagle Fang Miyagi-Do alliance is set to go international with its methodology, teaching style, and skill. The coalition would be competing in the most significant global karate tournament, a championship in which no American unit has entered till now. So if a movie comes out, it would be a perfect match with the epic scope of future events. These are some reasons why fans are still not sure whether Hurwitz is speaking the truth about the movie being unrelated to the series. Not to forget, some believe that it might be a complete reboot of the original movie. This is unlikely, but some still believe that this might happen. Many fans are convinced that the upcoming movie will be a complete reboot of the original Karate Kid movie. The problem is that Sony is already working on hyping up the Karate Kid continuation, making it illogical for them to start a whole new branch from scratch. But then again, we can't say that doing this is impossible, because honestly, it can be done. It just doesn't make sense for the studio to take up the extra burden. Other than that, there's also a chance that the movie is going to be a standalone karate film featuring new characters in a cast. If this happens, it's pretty evident that this movie would highlight some modern themes and struggles. But at the end of the day, we can't be sure about any of these plots. We can only get a proper idea once the studio itself confirms the synopsis. We'll know when we know. Other related news? First off, we might be getting a sixth season of Cobra Kai. This movie will take a while to return, but Cobra Kai season 
six might be here before that. The show's fifth season just premiered, but the actor Ralph Macchio has dropped some hints that it looks like a new season for the series. While talking to the U.S. Weekly, the actor said that the idea hadn't been picked up officially yet, and he needed to tell that because that's the truth. He also stated that they're feeling good and will get to continue this, let it evolve and land when the time is right. Macchio also talked about John, Josh, and Hayden and said that these three who write the show are great at what they do and know what the fans want. In fact, they're the biggest fans of the show themselves. Not to mention, he also stated that he wasn't sure if it would be renewed. He was hopeful while talking about a new series, and it's also evident that he has proposed the idea to the producers. But in the same interview, he also stated that there are some butterflies about the renewal of the martial arts series and whether they'd pick it up for another season. But because he's hoping for it, he shared some insight into what might happen in the future if the series is renewed. And with that, we think that his wish will come true somehow. The actor said there's more meat on the bones here, but that also means that it has to be entertaining and organic. He then stated that there are plenty of places to take the storyline in every season. According to Machio, it's the same as bringing Tamlin Tomita as Kumiko in season five or Elizabeth Shue in the third season. The actor also noted that the show's younger cast has just exploded since it debuted in 2018. With them now becoming the show's charm, the showrunners should think about another season. According to him, Cobra Kai is a karate soap opera. After all, people keep fighting in the San Fernando Valley of California as if this is what would bring world peace. But at the same time, it's the fun thing about it. Lastly, this is how long it might take for another season to arrive, if there's any. Even though no one is ready to confirm whether the new season is coming or not, it definitely is on the radar because no one has denied anything either. So if that's it, when might it land? Well, we can't say. It looks like there might be quite a wait for this one. We won't get a release date anytime soon, that's for sure, because recently John Hurwitz, while replying to a fan's tweet, stated that they hadn't written the sixth season yet. However, they might do it once the filming of Obliterated is done. He confirmed they've already got some kick-ass ideas for the next season, so yeah, we can only speculate a release date once the season is written. And with this, it's time to wrap this up, fam. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll soon be back with more amazing videos. See you at the next one.